and welcome to another Ryan Sports Reviews. Tonight I am reviewing Sevilla 2, Man United 1 in the semifinals of the UEFA Europa League. Sevilla will go on to face Inter Milan or Shakhtar Donetsk, the winner of tomorrow's semifinal, second semifinal on the 21st in the UEFA Europa League final. The goals were scored as follows. In the ninth minute, Man United gets a penalty. Martial plays the ball, but he's tackled and down in the box. Even though they never give those, they give those because uh, Penchester United. Bruno Fernandez takes it, converts it like always. 1-0 Man United. Then in the 26th minute, Suso scores. Regulon crosses it into him, into the box. Suso shoots at the far post to put it in past De Gea to make it 1-1. Then in the 78th minute, De Jong scores. The ball is crossed in to him from the side of the box. The ball's crossed into him. He taps it in, and it makes it 2-1. And that is how the game would end. Sevilla would win 2-1. In regular time, even though it looked like it was destined for extra time, because even though Sevilla played well, they didn't really have any attacking threat most of the game, besides the two goals that they scored. In my eyes, they defended more, tried to stay back and hit on the counter, but they played together as a team, and that's what really did it. Man United, they were hoping for penalties. Martial really should have scored two goals. He really should have scored two because there were two great chances he had. Two amazing chances that he had. He fumbled them. He futzed with them and he couldn't score. Were two saves and he really should have scored both. Really should have been three to two. But hey, you know what? It is what it is. It is what it is. That was sad because... Anybody worth their salt would have scored one of those, if not both. And Martial missed it. He missed it. He's basically the sole reason, because everybody else was just taking shots that went over the bar, went out. They were horrible shots, horrible chances. It's like they were hoping for another penalty, and they just couldn't get it. Like, they believed their own hype, so to speak, or believed their own banter against them. Like, it's weird. And the defense wasn't good at all, like always. I mean, Maguire isn't good. Williams, my God, that, that was horrible. He was horrible at left back. Juan Basaka, I don't understand why people say he's the best left back in England because of Trent Alexander-Arnold. Y'all, yeah, it is what it is. I mean, come on. Come on. It's Trent. It's always been Trent. He's the young player of the re year for a reason. Even if he is world class, he's the young player of the year for a reason. It's Trent Alexander-Arnold. Juan Basaka doesn't compare. Trent's clear. Stop it. Okay. Let's see. Lindelof? He was okay. Nothing special, like always, for him. He was okay, but it's Lindelof. He's good, but nobody's going to give him the shine that he deserves, but he was okay tonight. That defense, though, not that good. And then they don't put on a Gallo until the 80... Well, no, just stoppage time. Just stoppage time. Two minutes in. Four minutes to make a difference. And Greenwood wasn't good at all in this game. Could have taken him out earlier. Marshall wasn't up to it because he screwed up two chances. Fernandez scored a penalty. I mean, come on. Rashford, he was invisible tonight. I mean... I think Mata played. Yeah, he did. Not that good. I mean, the team... De Gea didn't make any mistakes, but United just fell apart. 
against a team who is playing a team game. Sevilla are the Europa League specialists. Doesn't matter who's managing. Doesn't matter who's playing. They're the specialists. And they got the job done. And they played so well as a team. They played well defensively. Hit on the break when they needed. I can't say much else. Well, their goalkeeper was amazing. Amazing. 29 years old, but he's amazing. And he was born in Canada, but he was called up by the Moroccan team, of course. That was back when Canada sucked. Don't even try. That was before Davies. That was before Cavallini. That was before Jonathan David. That was before Jonathan Osorio. That was before Jaden Nelson. That was before Milan, Milan Borjan. Well, no. He was there for a long time. But Yeah. But hey, at least we have Maxime Cropo and Thomas Nassau. <laughs> Sorry to go off on that tangent. But hey, we're going to get Io Akinola too, I guess. So hey. It's good. It's all good. Even though he's a striker, but still, you know, it's all good. It's all good. Yeah. But yeah, Sevilla was amazing tonight. Man of the match, their goalkeeper, Bono. I'm going to guess it's said the same way as Alex. I really don't care at this point. Kind of makes me mad there's actually a good goalkeeper out there with that name. Mmm. <laughs> I think we need to do a switcheroo, don't we? I mean, we got Westberg, but still. We need to do a switcheroo. The dude was born in Canada. I mean, it's worth a shot. It's worth a shot. But yeah, I'm just going to go with the way Alex says it. Because that's the way I'm used to saying it. Not the way the U2 singer... Or is it the way the U2 singer says it? I don't know at this point. I'm just going to go with the way I'm used to saying it when it comes to football goalkeepers. If you're mad, you're mad, okay? If you're mad, you're mad. Point being is, is the Sevilla goalkeeper, Bono, Bono, however the hell you say it, however the hell y'all say it, because I know how Toronto fans say it for a guy named Alex Bono, who isn't that good anymore, but who isn't that good anymore, but y'all, y'all's Bono was the man of the match tonight. Simple. I mean, Suso was good, De Jong was good, but those were on the counter. Regulon was good. I can't believe I actually said it. I was like, you know what, whatever, I'm gonna tell the truth, just to tell the truth of who the man of the match really was. I mean, it's my award. I could do what I want with it, but, you know. It is what it is. But yeah, the goalkeeper was the man of the match. He doesn't make all those saves, you're out. You're out. And you could say, but I guess Man United got goalied? Who cares? Who cares? The man of the match was the goalie. Yes, Sevilla had good counterattacks, and that's what they had to do. They did what they had to do. That's basically what happened. So, I have one message before I end this. Go donate to the Lebanon Red Cross. The link is down below. Let's help the people of Beirut after that horrible, tragic explosion last week. Almost two weeks ago. Let's help them. Let's help the people of Lebanon. Let's help make the world a better place. If you like this video, like it, share, subscribe. You know what it is. Tell all your friends. Tomorrow, I will review Inter Milan versus Shakhtar Donetsk. I'm Ron, and I'm out. Peace.